you new this morning two separate high speed police chases from Monona police within one hour of each other this morning. Both of them ending in arrests, one of them in a crash. The first chase started just after midnight when an officer says he saw someone driving recklessly along Highway 12 at Monona Drive. When they, the chase continued along East Broadway to Derry Drive, police say the driver lost control, crashing into a small tree. Police also say the man driving was highly intox intoxicated and is now facing his fifth offense OWI. Police say they did the chase based on the reckless behavior from the driver and since there was limited traffic at the time. Now over to the second chase, which an officer spotted as he cleared from the one we just told you about. According to Monona Police, the driver was going 93 miles an hour on Highway 51 at Flom Road. MOPD pers pursued along Highway 51 with the driver taking the Cottage Grove exit. The driver came to a stop at Acewood Boulevard and was arrested. In a statement, MOPD Chief Brian Cheney says between these two chases, he saw firsthand the level of dangerous driving behavior that happens during this time of the night. Now, this comes just one day after we learned Monona police engaged in two chases yesterday. We had the chance to speak with Chief Cheney about those chases and learned that Monona police has received questions about the number of chases they pursue. Thursday night, Monona PD says they made one arrest in one chase and are still looking for the suspect in the other. Chief Cheney says he's heard complaints before about Monona's history of police chases. We've heard the gambit. We've heard, uh, I thought you couldn't pursue. And that's one of the things that we hear often. Uh, obviously, uh, Monona has a different pursuit policy than some of our uh, surrounding agencies, such as the city of Madison. Chief Cheney adds that he sees his crew as respectful and reasonable and that they pursue these chases in an effort to keep their community safe. Monona PD says one of the chases yesterday got up to 87 miles an hour.